Ever had that feeling where you just really, really, really want to punch somebody? Like unbearably bad? Well, what if I told you that with the help of some visual effects, we can take any picture of anyone in the entire world and generate a 3D model based on that face, and finally use that to simulate punching them? Stop it. Get some help. Okay, step number one is actually generating a 3D model of whatever person you want to hurt. For this, we're going to be using Keen Tools, which is an add-on you can download for Blender with a 15-day free trial. I'll put the link in the description. Go check it out. It's literally one click and you're done. Step number two, the fun stuff, actually simulating the punch. Now, most tutorials, in fact, the only tutorial on YouTube will tell you to use something like soft body or even cloth, but there's actually a much easier way of doing this. Dynamic pain! What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Now, okay, dynamic paint is typically used for something like water where you're doing splashes and waves, but instead, let's not. Select your face and add dynamic paint with a canvas set to waves. Oh. Next, add in a spherical object to use as the fist, and this time around, use brush. Now, just keyframe it to impale into your actor's face, and you should be mostly done. So, I forgot something. Taking CG stuff and implementing it with live action footage. That is stuff recorded off of an actual camera. Remember that scene from Loki? Yeah, it was revealed to be done practically. But let's say the director got lazy. We'll set up your scene like normal, simulate, do all of that stuff. But head to the render properties and under film enable transparent. This means there won't be any background, so we can easily open up whatever compositing software we want, import it in, and drag and drop it right on top of the original image. And bam, you've recreated Loki! Nice job, look, look at you. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.